of the things I love to make out of polymer clay is polymer clay card holders. They're fun, creative, and totally customizable. You can really make whatever you'd like. And they're really good gift ideas. Regular store-bought card holders can be really expensive too. So making your own not only is fun, but it saves you a lot of money. So first I'm going to show you three different card holders I made. And then we'll do a quick tutorial on how you can make an easy card holder for yourself. I call this card holder ribbons and bows because it's got basically ribbons and bows all over it. Here is a metallic blue ribbon that's kind of woven around the card holder. And I made a multicolored striped bow in shades of pink on top. And we've got some swirls to bring in the other colors. Now this is actually a covered chunk of really, really hard red clay I bought. It was this red Sculpey clay and it was so hard every time I tried to use it it crumbled so I figured I could just cover it in black and yellow and some designs and make a card holder out of it. And here we've got some jewelry really thick beading wire and that's how I make the card holders and it's really good. It fits it. It's got two slots right here. So you can fit two different ones. And I think it's really useful too. This card holder was a little different because it didn't have a block of clay as the base. Now when I made this, I had just made a rose and I figured I would use this thing as like a pin or something, but it turned out that I could use it as a card holder. So I tried to make a metallic base from the jewelry wire. It just, it's a little hard to stand, but I think it looks really pretty. And I had to wrap another piece of wire as the holder here. And I'm really surprised I did this. It really hurt my fingers, but it works. This one is a little loose and it's a little hard to stand, but it's really pretty. And I really like how this one turned out. I call this one the graffiti card holder and it's either my favorite or one of my favorites that I've made so far because it's so interesting to look at. You don't really get bored looking at this thing. So what I've got here is lots of different patterns all over it like as if it was graffiti style. I've got like swirls and this is actually like a piece of bacon here and just different patterns all over and here I've got, it's probably really hard to see but I carved in like a little tic-tac-toe and there's a leaf here and this is actually another covered um, red chunk of that really hard clay here I wrote love might be a little hard to see but we've got different patterns and here there's like a little orange slice there's like a little banana a leaf some different like swirls and patterns just so that it's really interesting to look at and this one is really sturdy doesn't really rock at all and this one also fits too yeah I think this one turned out really good and it's definitely one of my favorites when making a card holder what I like to do for the base is either use a chunk of old clay that I really can't use because it's so hard or I can use tin foil and you just wrap it up and then cover it with a layer of clay and then stick the the wire in it and tin foil is bakeable and it really saves you a lot of clay or you can use scrap clay and this is what I call it because when I have like little clay chunks all over my table and I just gather them up and form them into a ball this one's been going for a couple months now and I cover it with other colors and it becomes my base for my card holders so that's another way to save you from using a gigantic chunk of clay because that can get really expensive I use this Jewelry Essentials stringing wire to make the wire base, um, the wire spiral that holds the cards. And it's really easy to bend actually. It looks a little hard, but you can really bend it. And what I do to get that shape is I wrap it around this rolling pin here because it's the good size that I'd like. As you can see. And I just wrap it around and then I cut it after I get enough spirals with some beading wires and pliers. The first color I had gotten was the metallic silver, but later I found this half price blue and some pink. And so you can really, another way to customize it really is to get other colors. 
first thing you're going to want to do is make your wire spiral. So here's one with two loops. And I'm going to show you how to make one with just one. To make the two, all you do is wrap it around another time. Take your wire and press it to the rolling pin, keeping it in place with your thumb. Now what you're going to do is you're going to slowly start to wrap the wire around the rolling pin. And then come back around till you meet the wire right here. And bend it in place like this. Straighten it out. And then you're going to use a wire cutter. I purchased these in the beading section at Michael's, a local craft store, and snip it. That's it. Now that your wire is complete, we're going to get started on the base of the card holder. This is going to be a meatball card holder, because I think that will be really cute and funny. And so what I'm going to do actually is just use this aluminum ball. It's not only going to save brown clay, but it also gives the texture of a meatball right here without you having to make that yourself. Next, roll out a piece of brown clay, any color you like, or not even brown if that's what you'd like, and just cover your tinfoil meatball with the brown. When your tinfoil meatball is covered, make sure it looks like a meatball, and then we're going to make sure that we stick our wire spiral into the meatball. Find somewhere that the meatball sits flat and start to push the wire spiral into the meatball. If you're having a hard time getting the wire spiral into the meatball, try using a toothpick because it means that you compacted your tinfoil a little too tightly. Now that my wire spiral fits into the meatball, I'm just going to make sure that I cover up the little hole I made when trying to get it in. And if you want it to be really cool, you can add sauce made using chalk pastel and TLS and noodles to the bottom of it. Have fun and enjoy.